Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our presentation. <clears throat> Mr. Is talking, we are going to talk about the Netherlands. In this presentation, we are going to talk about the Dutch speaking assignments. Let me tell you about the Netherlands, often referred to as Holland, in a country located in northern and west Europe. It is known for its flat landscape, windmills, tulip fields, canals, and cycling culture. The country shares borders with Germany to the east, Belgium to the south, and is surrounded by North Sea to the northwest. The capital city of is Amsterdam, which is renowned for its picturesque canals, historic architecture, and vibrant cultural scene. The Netherlands has a population of approximately 17 million people, and it is one of the most densely populated countries in Europe. Despite its small size, it has a highly developed economy and is a member of the European Union and Eurozone. The country is known for its liberal social policies, including progressive stances and on issues such as safe same-sex marriages, man-to-man, girl-to-girl, drug decriminalization, and euthanasia. Dutch people are recognized for their open-mindedness, tolerance and proficiency in English, making it a welcoming destination for international visitors. The Netherlands has a rich cultural heritage with world-class museums, such as Van, Van Gogh Museum and the Rijksmuseum, showcasing renowned artworks. Additionally, Dutch cuisine features specialties like cheese, herring, straw waffles, and bitterbone. History. The Netherlands indeed has a fascinating history and the Dutch Golden Age is a significant period in its past. During the 17th century, the Dutch Republic exper experienced a remarkable surge in economic, scientific and cultural achievements, earning it the title of a global maritime and economic power. The Dutch Golden Age was characterized by an extraordinary flourishing of trade, industry, and art. The Dutch Republic established a fast maritime empire with Dutch merchants and explorers venturing into distant corners of the globe, including Asia, Africa, and the Americas. The Dutch East India Company, VOC, abbreviation of it, played a crucial role in its expansion, establishing trading posts, and monopolizing spice trade rule. This era witnessed a tremendous growth in the Dutch economy, fueled by prosperous middle class and a robust entrepreneurial spirit. Major cities such as Amsterdam, Rotterdam, and Haarlem treat as commercial centers attracting merchants and skilled artisans from across Europe. The Netherlands became a hub for international trade, with Amsterdam emerging as a leading financial center and stock exchange. Art and culture flourished during the Dutch Golden Age, as we have said, producing real painters such as Rembrandt van Rijn, Johannes Vermeer, and Frans Hals. These artists produced masterpieces that reflected the society, landscape, and everyday life of the time. The Dutch also excelled in other areas, such as cartography, scientific inquiry, and engineering. Prominent figures like Hugo Grotius, Antonio van Leeuwenhoek, and Christian Huygens made significant contributions in their respective fields. The Dutch Golden Age declined in the late 17th century due to the various factors including wars, economic downturns, and shifting political dynamics. However, its impact on Dutch society and culture remains evident to this day. The legacy of the Golden Age can be seen in the well-preserved historical architecture, art collections, and the entrepreneurial spirit that still characterizes the Netherlands. The Dutch Golden Age stands as a testament to the Netherlands' historical significance as a global powerhouse, leaving behind a lasting impact on the country's identity and contributing to its reputation as a land of innovation and creativity.
if we are talking about education, the Netherlands has an excellent education system that is highly regarded worldwide. It places strong emphasis on research, innovation, and practical learning, making it an attractive destination for both domestic and international students. The country is home to several prestigious universities and research institutions that off offer a wide range of programs and disciplines. Some of the re-owned universities in the Netherlands include the University of Amsterdam, Delft University of Technology, Leiden University, Utrecht University, and Erasmus University Rotterdam, among others. These institutions constantly consistently rank highly in international university rankings and are known for their academic excellence and research contributions. One notable aspect of the Dutch education system it is focused on the fostering critical thinking, creativity, and independent learning. If you think about it, critical thinking, creativity, and independent learning. Students are encouraged to engage actively in their education and participate in discussions and practical projects. This approach not only develops their academic skills, but also equips with the valuable problem-solving and analytic abilities. Moreover, the Netherlands has a wide range of English taught degree programs at both undergraduate and postgraduate levels, making it an accessible destination for international students. The country has a welcoming and exclusive environment with a large number of international students choosing to study there. This diversity exchange, cultural exchange, and provides opportunities for networking and collaboration. Netherlands possesses a unique combination of factors that contribute to its appeal as a country. We have just talked about that, a little bit geography, rich history, vibrant culture, and strong economy and tourism. I hope you enjoyed it, and good luck. Kind regards, Mr. Thank you for listening.